My mom and dad always say, live big, love big, always do your best, and don't forget that you can do amazing things. Good morning, everybody. I'm super excited about today because it is kind of a special day. It's a fake Friday because the kids don't have school tomorrow. So I am home with the little kids and I'm about to get started on picking up this messy house. It's just the tip of it, trust me. It's a very, very large iceberg today, but that's okay. But Scott is doing some filming and I had a second while the kids were eating breakfast uh, to play through some songs on the piano. I don't usually get to do this because it's usually too crazy to do it, but I have a friend who owns a bookstore close by and she had this book that she asked me if I wanted because they were getting rid of some different things and I'm really excited. I like to play the piano and I just don't ever get to, but I just found one of my favorite church songs for us. It's so like a church song for the little kids and I wanted to play through it because it was really pretty. But do you guys play the piano? Do you guys have any talents that you've been developing? I feel like kids don't learn to play the piano anymore and I keep telling my kids, and I'm part of the problem, that I really want them to be able to play the piano. So if you have piano lessons, stick with it because it's worth it. There are not lots of people playing the piano anymore and we need more piano players. So hopefully you like the song. I have not really played through it yet, so we'll fake it, but it's one of my favorites. So I wanted to hear what it sounds like. Get Bray Bray. It's a beautiful day outside, huh? I taste didn't quite make it outside the house with clothes on, but we're halfway. Scott is gone today doing some video work, so we've been alone by ourselves all day, which explains why we don't have a shirt on. <laughs> Mommy's drowning in craziness, huh? No, we're doing okay. Oh no, I love you. Uh oh. All right, we got her. We got you, Bray. What are we gonna be doing over the weekend? Uh, we're gonna go home and figure that out. Are you excited to have no school tomorrow? Yay, we have general conference this weekend. Yay, I'm really excited about that. Run. Dinosaur shirt. Ah. Oh, she give you a kiss. There's a rainbow. A rainbow dinosaur shirt? Willy really Wonka, Willy really Wonka. All right, let's go home. What you guys doing? Pause it for a minute. Can I sit next to you for a minute? Let me sit in between. Okay, I told me an interesting story on the way home from school today. And uh, and so we needed to have a little a little father-daughter powwow about her story. Don't we there, little angel? No. You heard the story? Basically what happened was there was some kind of dare situation going on at school and one of her friends ended up asking a boy if he would be Kaya's boyfriend and he said yes and Kaya didn't think that there was a problem with that but <laughs> we keep hiding further and further <laughs> but here's the deal we had to remind Kaya that in our house we do not date until we are 16, even if it's just innocent dating. What does innocent dating mean? Meaning that it doesn't mean anything. You're just calling yourself somebody's girlfriend, and he's calling himself his boyfriend. Whoever it may be, at any time between now and the time she's 16, the rule is that we don't do that in our house, right? So we're gonna be bored for high school. <laughs> what do you mean you're gonna be bored? Because we don't want we don't have any boys. The reason that we don't date is because it can set you up for problems. Meaning that what happens with boyfriends and girlfriends, even in sixth grade, is it starts with 
saying hi or brushing each other's arm, then it starts to holding a hand, then it <laughs> and then it goes further and further and further because your friends keep daring you to do more and more and more and more. And then all of a sudden, it leads to big problems. And that's uh, that, that's what we want to avoid because there's no reason to be dating boys or boys to be dating girls in middle school. You like the rule? No. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. So here's what we told her. You can be friends only. You can have crushes, that's okay. But you cannot have a boyfriend. You cannot call yourself somebody's girlfriend. Thanks for being such a sweet girl and talking to us about it though. You girls know I love you, right? Mm -hmm. You know that we have rules for your protection, right? It's to keep you safe and to make sure that you are doing good things, right? You too. Our rules, they can apply to you as well. And they should. You guys shouldn't date until you're 16. And then when you're 16, you should group date only until you're ready to settle down and be married after you turn 18. Then you can start dating seriously. If you like those rules, give this video a thumbs up. Hey, what does that even mean? And subscribe. And if you, hey, if you don't like these rules, then give the video a thumbs up too. <laughs> and if you hate them, subscribe. <laughs> We appreciate you guys for watching. We love you. And you can do amazing things. You got me, you got me good. Ooh, you got me, you got me good. Ooh, oh, babe. All I'm thinking about is when you come around.